Did you hear about Jane from accounting? Apparently she's been working late every day this week. Really? I heard she's been having some issues at home, probably trying to avoid her family. You know what I heard? Mark got that promotion just because he's buddy-buddy with the boss. That wouldn't surprise me. I heard he's been schmoozing with the higher-ups a lot lately. Have you seen Samantha's outfit today? Ugh, so not appropriate for the office. I agree. I heard she's been trying to catch the eye of someone higher up for a better job. Does this sound familiar to you? All too often we talk about other people. I mean, we're only stating the facts, aren't we? What's so wrong with a bit of chatter every now and again? In this episode, we'll be discussing what workplace gossip is and how you can distinguish between gossip and office chatter. As Christian women in leadership, we often find ourselves struggling with the balance between implementing faith-based leadership principles and the worldly perspectives of our colleagues and team members. You once felt passionate about leadership, but have often come up against people with fixed mindsets who are unwilling to change. You feel like giving up and stepping out of your leadership role because is it really worth it? Friend, you're in the right place. Here we're not only going to talk about the challenges, we're going to tackle them head on with a faith-based approach that's both practical and empowering. So, if you're ready to transform your leadership journey, to set boundaries that make a real impact, and to create a workplace culture where both you and your team can thrive, then join me in uncovering the strategies, wisdom, and godly guidance that will lead you to success. I'm Rika Whelan, and welcome to the Woman of Faith in Leadership Podcast. Together, we're going to navigate leadership with faith as our foundation. Let's get started. Grab your coffee or water, keep that notebook and pen handy, and let's jumpstart your leadership. Welcome to the first episode of the new gossip series, where we'll be unpacking gossip in every way, shape, and form, and see it for what it really is. In this episode, we're going to be talking about everyday chatter versus gossip. How do we know the difference? A couple of years ago, I addressed an issue of gossip with a staff member. There had been quite a lot of cases of gossip, in my opinion, that had gone around and everybody was reporting it because they were concerned. And so when we called this team member in, basically what this person said to me was, well, I'm only stating the facts And I thought that my colleague needed to know the facts about that person. When we addressed with her that this was actually seen as gossip, she fully disagreed with us. She disagreed that she was spreading rumors and gossip because it was facts. Herein lies the actual problem that any workplace faces with workplace culture and in particular when it comes to gossip is those thoughts that the, f- that the information that you're conveying is only facts. It's more so the fact that we feel comfortable that we can talk about someone else to someone else. And that's the actual concern because this is where gossip starts. We feel comfortable to talk good or the positives about someone else. So for example, hey, did you hear Jane's good news? Oh, hey, I'm so glad for her. This is wonderful. And although this is harmless because that's not gossip, that's not spreading rumors, we're just sharing somebody else's good news. The problem comes in that we get so comfortable talking about Jane or talking about another person that it can very very easily turn to negative. If we look at the definition of gossip, um, it involves discussing personal or private matters about others, often without their knowledge or consent and frequently with a negative or judgmental tone. So is it then gossip if you're talking positively about someone or if you're sharing good news? No, it's not. However, like I mentioned, the, the thing that we really need to be careful for is that in one week we can feel comfortable feeling posi- talking positively, but the next week we'll feel comfortable talking negatively. And gossip can be very damaging and it can spread very, very, very quickly. It is spreading um, unverified information and also facts, even if it is um, something bad about someone. But it can really harm relationships, it can erode trust, and it can really create a toxic workplace environment. You know, gossip is something that, that, that people really struggle with because we like to share information with other people. So again, I always get asked, but if I'm only sharing facts, is it in fact gossip? Well, yes it is, because you are talking about someone else to someone else. And I think, 
I'd really like people's mind to open a little bit more about the fact that gossip is more than just spreading negative stuff about people, more than just misinformed misinformation or unverified information. Gossip is when you are talking about someone else to someone else. And as soon as we get comfortable talking about other people to other people, we should know the red flag should go up and say, oh, I, I, that was a little bit too comfortable for me. I should be careful not to start talking negatively or about someone else. On the other hand, on the other hand, then you have office chatter. So what is office chatter? I've often been asked, but OK, is, is, off, is office chatter OK? Now, office chatter can be seen as basically casual and light conversations that take place in the workplace. And for example, this would be work-related matters, general news, even personal topics that aren't meant to be harmful or damaging. But again, with office chatter, we have to be mindful. If we're sharing general news or work-related matters, that it does not start involving other people because that's when it can turn into gossip. But office chatter is actually quite important because this is where we build camaraderie, we build a sense of belonging, and it, it actually fosters a positive workplace environment. So I really, really highly encourage office chatter. And it's good because we need to build relationships. In the previous episode, I mentioned that your family at work or the, your work colleagues are actually your work family. So to build relationship with people is we need to spend time with them and we need to talk to them, we need to communicate with them, and we need to share things about our personal life because sometimes when you share things about your personal life with someone else, it shows them that, wow, this person trusts me enough to share that personal information with me. But then the problem comes in that that person who now shared that personal information with, more often than not, that personal information doesn't stay with that person. The problem comes in now is now that information gets shared with someone else. So we have to be so mindful and trust is big in families. It's big in, in workplace relationships as well. If someone has trusted you enough to give you any information, keep it to yourself. And as a leader, you should be encouraging your team members as well. If someone has, if someone has entrusted you as the team member or the colleague with personal information, don't share it with someone else because this is a way to build trust. So there are some, there are four distinguishing factors between office chatter and gossip. And I thought I would touch on that here because it's a really relevant point and question that I get asked very often, what is the difference between the two? Well, there are four big differences between office chatter and gossip, and that is the intent. So the intent behind office chatter is obviously to connect, to share experiences, to create a friendly atmosphere, but Gossip, however, often involves spreading information with the intention of causing harm, stirring drama, undermining someone's reputation. So gossip really just does not have a good intent behind it, whereas office chatter is harmless. So number two is the content. The content that's been talked about in office chatter is a wide range of topics, including work-related matters, shared experiences, hobbies, interests, what did you do on the weekend, you know. Um, and then gossip obviously tends to include personal information, personal details, rumors, judgments, negative assessments of individuals. So again, the content that's being talked about in office chatter versus gossip is good versus bad. Number three, the number, the third distinguishing factor is the effect that gossip or office chatter has. So office chatter, is, it, it contributes positively to the workplace by building relationships and fostering a sense of community. So that's the effect that gossip, oh, sorry, that office chatter actually has is it contributes positively. Whereas gossip, the effect that gossip have is negative. So gossip has a negative impact. It erodes trust, like I already mentioned, it creates tension and it damages morale. But also people get really upset if they've been spoken about and it can really impact people's mental health as well. The fourth that distinguishing factor between office chatter and gossip is the consequences thereof. What's the consequences of office chatter? Well, it strengthens bonds and improves team dynamics. Whereas the consequences of gossip, it can lead to misunderstanding, conflicts and a decline in productivity. It can lead into a decline of people's mental health. And what I've mentioned before, it can create tension. It erodes trust. It has a negative impact. So the, the consequences of gossip 
can be really, really, really bad. And in the third episode of this series, I'm going to be talking about the impact and consequences of gossip in the workplace. So I am only briefly touching on it now. If you are looking to understand more about the consequences, what gossip can have in your workplace, please listen to the third installment of this gossip series. So we've talked now about what is gossip and what is office chatter, and then the distinguishing factors between the two. So what can you do? Well, number one, you can start observing what type of conversations your team members are having. Is it office chatter or is it gossip? Just observe. You don't need to do anything. Just observe. Secondly, start observing what type of conversations you are having with your colleagues or team members. Again, is it office chatter or is it gossip? And then what I'd like you to do with your conversations alone is start steering those conversations from gossip to office chatter. And if you start observing what your colleagues are doing and what your team members are doing, and then what you are doing yourself, then you you can immediately pick up what type of workplace culture is surrounding your workplace. Because if it's office chatter, then good. Then there's lots of positivity, strong team bonds, There might be one or two people who um, are causing tension, but in overall, you might have a really positive workplace culture. However, if you start noticing that there is quite a lot of gossip going on, there's quite a lot of negative talk, judgmental thoughts about other people, then you know your red flags are up. Your red flags should go up and in your mind, you should know that, okay, we've got trouble here. We've got a problem that we need to tackle. And in this series, not only this gossip series, but in this whole podcast, that is exactly what I am going to help you with to tackle these problems. Communication, conflict, relationships, office shadow versus gossip. There is so many things that encompasses workplace culture. That is why I feel so passionate about it is because people do not realize how dangerous it can be to gossip and to say bad things about other people. The consequences can be really bad and really long-standing for some people. So in the next episode, we'll be having a look at what the Bible says about gossip and why we should steer clear from it. Now, gossip is so serious that it even that even the Bible mentions it. That is why we need to take it seriously, and therefore we cannot continue ignoring gossip in our workplaces. If you need any support or coaching with gossip in your workplace, you don't want to wait until the next episode's air, you don't want to wait any longer, you're feeling stuck, you just don't know what to do, please get into contact with me at support at rickawhelan.com and you are able to book a coaching call with me and we can run through the issues that you're having at the moment and I will be able to, um, to give you some tangible advice, some strategies that you can implement so that you can start creating a positive work environment, not only you, but for your team members. And having a workplace, having a positive workplace environment means that everyone will enjoy coming to work, you will enjoy coming to work, and your productivity will increase overall um, in your workplace and in your company. So please feel free to get into contact with me. And if you haven't joined our community yet, please jump over to womenoffaithinleadership.com And you will be able to join our free Facebook community. I will be in there as well. I look forward to seeing you in the next episode. Thanks so much for listening. If this podcast blessed you in some way, the number one way you can thank me is by leaving a review. Your feedback means the world to me and lights me up every single time when I read it. And it makes me want to keep going. So please leave a review and your review will also help other Christian women in leadership find the answers they are looking for. So whether you're on Spotify or Apple Podcasts, scroll down to the review section and leave that review. Then head over to womenoffaithinleadership.com and join our free Facebook community. And I look forward to engaging with you there.